and I remember I just had this huge smile on my face. I was like, oh my god, this, this is the program for me. If you're artistic and you want something different, this is the place. It's the only place. This year will never come back. It's that time when you're finishing high school, figuring out what you want to do in the world, who you want to be. You never really get to just take a break one year where it's yours, for you. I'm an artist. I do fine arts, drawing, painting, watercolors, pen art. I'm into many different arts. I like theater and dance and film and music. Israel is one of the tops of the world in dance, so that was like really excited for me. The idea for creating and founding Artsy was to allow teens from all over the world to come to Israel and experience Israel firsthand, practice Judaism, practice arts on a professional level, volunteer and do a lot of fun activities. I wake up every morning and I have like this huge smile on my face. I'm excited to take on the day to see what am I going to learn new about myself. We're really here to make our students feel like they have a home here this year and not just another student on a big program. I don't know if it's Jerusalem, the place or the people or I don't know, the, the air. Experiencing Jerusalem in all its aspects and then Processing it in the studio brings an, an extra layer to things. There's just a certain vibe there that encourages spirituality and thinking, and it's very fun. They can maybe feel the, the roots of the city or of themselves, the roots of the culture, yeah, of history. Also, as an artist, it brings something else to my creation, something that you cannot find in anything else in Israel and I guess in the world. It's really amazing to be a part of that. All the students in Artsy come from very different religious backgrounds. Learning together it creates an interesting discussion in class. We get to meet a variety of different musicians, artists, actors, videographers, rabbis. I feel like they're all encouraging us to learn with them, not just have them teach us and have us listen. <laughs> אנשים מכל הארץ. זה לא רק ללמוד בארץ ולקחת שנה שאתם לומדים בארץ, אתם גם באמת חיים עם אנשים ישראלים והם באמת מכירים. אתם לומדים את המילה, אתם מבוגרים, אתם חיים בצד של ירושלים, חלק של קהילה. זה כאילו משהו שעושה את הדרך הזאת. אנחנו באמת חושבים שכאילו סטודנטים פה, אתם יכולים לבחור דברים. יש לנו קהילות, ולסטודנטים יש לנו הרבה אחריות, והם יש להם את האפשרות לעשות שינויים בפרוגרם, שזה באמת נותן לכם את הכלים האלה לכל החיים שלכם לכל החיים שלכם לכל החיים שלכם לכל החיים שלכם. It's really a privilege to be here and to meet all these amazing people. And here, I feel like people have pushed me to go for what I want and what I need. Once you've been here and living here, and you have close friends that you've studied with that are in the army or going off to their national service, you have a much better picture of what it is. And you can represent it for real, because it's part of you. <laughs> I'm going to miss the realism, the genuinity. Is that a word? <laughs> I've developed so much more actual talent and skills in art. I feel like a more developed person where I just have so much more awareness of the world. It was an amazing process. It showed me a lot. If that is something that sounds like it's your trip, there's really no other option.